Hello, I'm Powered Up Mike R, and today I am doing a gameplay video on Mario Super Sluggers for the Wii. And also, along with it being a gameplay video, I am kind of doing it as like, an, I guess, commentary video, kind of giving a semi little update about my Wii. Because in the last channel update, I kind of already explained everything. But, anyways, first I'm going to talk about the game itself. Now, Mario Super Sluggers, it's, it's a. It's a sports, it's Mario sports game, primarily on baseball, released for the Nintendo Wii in 2008. And well, it's a really fun game for me. Um, the controls, the first thing I wanted to talk about, um, they're very easy to pick up. Like, if you've played Wii Sports, then it's pretty much the same easy to use controls. I mean, it's, there's not much to it, so. And, it's kind of like Wii Sports Baseball, but just with Mario characters instead. I mean, along with like the regular baseball game mode, you can there's like an adventure mode where you gather up all the teammates and team captains. And, and yeah, that's how you unlock most of the characters. There are different stadiums to play in, and um, I'm playing in Mario Stadium. Yeah, each stage has its own gimmick, but Mario Stadium has no gimmicks. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty... It's a pretty general game. I mean, it's really fun for multiplayer, so... I would recommend trying out the multiplayer mode, because it's really fun. But, now going to the update about my Nintendo Wii. In the last channel update, I kind of explained how um, my Wii kind of had a little... Well, it's maybe is wearing out with some of the games, like I explained how Mario Kart Wii um, is starting to want, run out, wear out, like, so, like my Wii, it won't, some games it just physically won't read the disc, and it's kind of an error, it gives me like a little error, like an error has occurred, please check the operations manual for, for this, about this problem, mm -hmm. but other games like Mario Super Sluggers, they run fine. So I think my discs are wearing out, so I'm gonna have to clean my disc. And it's probably gonna be a little, uh, quite a while before I do another Mario Kart Monday video on Mario Kart Wii. And anyways, going back to Mario Super Sluggers, one of your playable characters is your me, a me of choice. But for some strange reason, all the characters look normal in the game, but the me's. I don't know, the face kind of looks all pixely. It's just very strange. And, um, in Mario Super Sluggers, there are many different kinds of pitches depending on how you throw the Wii Remote. And with special button combinations, you can do different types of pitches. So, that's pretty much all there is for pitching. I already discussed batting. And, um,. Yeah, and what else? So, there are mini games in Mario Super Sluggers. I'm probably going to do a video on that later on in the future. But, most of the time, the game is based heavily based off of motion controls. But there's a lot of motion control based gameplay, but sometimes, like in the exhibition mode, like the adventure mode, mode you can use, like, like in the mini games, especially, you can use like button combinations. And if you're not, if you're not a fan of the motion controls, pretty much everywhere else, it's motion controls. I mean, like they're not that bad, but some of the mini games with the motion controls, it's like they're very hard, but easy with the button combinations. Like in exhibition, as I was trying to say earlier, there are. Or some bit of some motion controls, but it's just like you gotta hold down a button and just your character will move in that direction, so it's pretty simple. And there, Mario hits a home run! Yahoo! Now, what you can do with motion controls is you can pull the Wii Remote back and your character will wind up a swing, and if you time it just right, you can actually maybe get a good hit. Now, in the corner near the character's icons, you can see that there's that little star god. Yeah. 
And now what that does is if you hold A and B while swinging and if you successfully hit the ball, you can hit a... While batting, you can get a stronger hit. But I rarely use it, so... Because it's like, for some crazy reason, I can hit it most of the time normally, but whenever I use my star power, I always end up getting a miss. And if you hold A and B while pitching, you can do a special type of pitch, like a special gimmick. And so, like, the better plays you do, like if you get a person out while pitching or hit a home run or whatever, you can get more power filled up in your star god. But each time you use it, you lose a little bit. It's pretty simple. Now, in this video, I did cut out some of the, uh, pretty much most, of, some parts of the loading screen to save time, like the in-between innings. I mean, the video would have been a little extra long, and... Like, I really didn't want to have a video where a good, ch or a little bit of it was just a st mostly loading screens at some points. And now, to go back to my Wii, I think it's only certain games that don't work on it. Like, Mario, Go Kart, Wii, I mean, like, I think that disc is wearing out because I pretty much tested all, a bunch, almost all the other games I have and they seem to work fine. And I usually clean my disc before use now. So just to prevent like errors from happening. And um or but then then again, like I said in my channel update video, I'm I really can't tell if it's like my Wii is overheating. Because usually if I lift up the top flaps for uh, like the plastic flaps on my Wii, usually things will be fine. So it either is the discs are dirty, or my Wii just overheats. I mean, I really can't tell what's going on. Now to quickly go back to Mario Super Slugger, one thing you can do in the game while pitching, you can call time, and if you want to use a different pitcher, you can. And that's what Wario's team did, so they switched it out for Waluigi. And each player has their own statistics, like some can pitch faster than others, some can hit better than others. Like, one thing I've noticed is the Piantas, they can hit pretty well. And Waluigi, he's a pretty fast pitcher. And those musical notes, they are, they're called buddy moves. Like, if, like, a ball is kind of looks like it's going to be a home run and you have two players that have good chemistry, represented by the musical notes, you can actually, actually like, press A and they can do a buddy toss which can get you an out of what would have been a home run. So it's a very clever trick. And sometimes it comes in real handy. I mean, but in the exhibition mode, there are places where you have to, where you get practice with that stuff. And then the phone goes off. But anyways, there are missions you have to play in the game, in the exhibition mode. So in the well, with all the missions, you get practices doing certain hits, hitting angles, bunting the ball with the bat. Um, yeah, like pretty much hitting a home run. Generic stuff that you can practice. So that's well, that's all good. Now going back to my Wii again. Remember, the main point of this video is to be a combination of a gameplay and a little update. So with my Wii. Things are going smooth. I'm keeping a very close eye on it. You know, just trying to make sure nothing bad happens. And, I, and on my end, my capture card is lagging pretty badly. I mean, like, the video playback isn't so great. The frames are dropping. But anyway, with my Wii. Yeah. So just for a while, it kind of glitched, but I'm keeping a close eye on it. But for right now, that's all much that's pretty much all I have to say. I mean like this is only like the disc drive part. But with like other games like downloaded games from like WiiWare or Virtual Console, they're obviously not affected by this. So I really don't know what's been what actually happened, but as long as my Wii's working, I'm good. And as you can see right there in the game, one thing that's kind of my weakness in this game is, um, I believe they're called the slider. 
Sorry, I kind of get my pitches mixed up. The slider where it's tossed upward like that, you see right there. Sorry, I kind of get the pitches mixed up. I'm not really a big baseball guy, but those, I think, curveball pitches, please forgive me if I'm wrong. I don't, I get my pitches mixed up. That's pretty much my weakness in the game. It's like, sometimes, like, the timing and their speed, they always kind of get me. And, yeah, you throw them by holding a wall pitching. Um, what else is there to say? Um, now, the game, the CPU level I'm playing on is at the pro level or level three. It's the second highest. It's like the largest I think is called veteran. No wait, the largest level four is the hardest. It's called like all star, but I'm playing on the pro level. I mean, like, at the pro level, it's a fine amount of difficulty, but it's not crazy hard. But I mean, like, with most games, you can just work your way up in skill. And, I mean, like, there, this game does have a practice mode. So if you want to practice, like, pitching or batting, you can do that. But with all, like, the different statistics of the characters, I mean, like, some hmm, characters are better for batting, and some characters are better for pitching. Like, for me, Waluigi, he's a good pitcher I would recommend. And, well, pretty much, once you learn the controls, pretty much any character you want to get good at can be a good character for that specific topic you want to cover, like batting or pitching. And well, in the game there is a mercy rule, and if you get 10 points ahead, the game is called early. And well, I won the game, and this pretty much wraps up this video, and I'll see you all next time, and bye bye